A tab market update. Adam Hamilton joining you from tab.com.au and it is ATC Australian Derby Day but for the vast majority of racing fans, in fact most Australians, it's our next chance to see Black Caviar in action and tab.com.au has got right behind the champion mare and uh, you can, as you can see here we've got these uh, giveaway ticket packets that you can get at all your tab agencies there and uh, you'll be able to get them with a uh, bet inside and you can either collect it if you want the skinny odds or keep it as a, momen a memento of the great occasion Black Caviar in action in the last race the TJ Smith and we'll look at that market in just a moment um, it's also tab week two of the autumn windfall promotion where if you have a minimum $20 bet on Melbourne or Sydney racing you'll be in the running for $100,000 in free bets and uh, giveaways and of course the giveaways include a BMW 1 series but let's get straight into the markets and uh, that TJ Smith will win black caviars in action of course she always dominates the betting and you can get a dollar ten this time it is one of the better fields she's taken on uh, in her recent runs um, outside of Royal Ascot of course but she's a dollar ten to win again Bell Sprinters had a little bit of support, $15 into $11. But that's mainly because he looks a clear second pick in the eyes of punters and there's a question mark over Haylist running. Haylist has been 17 out to 23. Then on the $26 line, Rain Affair and Sea Siren. Here's another market we've got, which is the TJ Smith Fave Out market. So if you take Black Caviar out, you can bet on the race as though she's not running. Second horse across the line becomes your winner. But of course, Black Caviar must start in the race for bets to stand on the Fave Out market. And there's been an avalanche of money for Bell Sprinter to win in the Fave Out market. $3 into $2.00. Rain, uh, Rain Affairs being 550 into 480. Sea Sirens there at 550. Haylist with that question mark, $3.80 out to $6. And then it's $16 or better for the rest. So that's the TJ Smith. Let's go on to the actual feature. And the theme of the day is short price favourites. Black Caviar, the shortest of the lot. But it's a long, long time since we've seen an ATC Australian Derby winner start as short as It's a Done Deal will. At the moment, he's been $1.25 into $1.22. No really big bets straight out, but a lot of multi-bets. And obviously, he's uh, a fairly big commitment with the pre-post betting. I think as much as $4 was given uh, in the build-up to the Australian Derby. So uh, he's now into $1.22. Philippi at $8. Hippopus at $14. Avastan at $16. And then $26 for high shot leads the rest. Bigger bets, $15,000 on a multi-double. It's a done deal into overreach of, at odds of $2 and another $10,000 at odds of $1.95 on the same two horses. It's a done deal and overreach to win the size produce. The Golden Slipper winner on the backup. We've also got a fave-out market on that Australian derby. Uh, Philippi the favourite at two thirty dollars ahead of Hippopus at $4.50. Let's move on to that uh, ATC size produce now. And Gay Waterhouse's uh, Golden Slipper winners have got a great record of backing up and handling it well and winning the size. And Overreach has been $1.60 into $1.55 to become another one of those. Absolutely dominates the betting. The others in contention. Guelph at $10. Florida Fair at 11 Charlie Boy's actually been well tried at big odds. $21 into $15. We've got a fave out market as well on the size produce where Guelph in a very open market is at 440 ahead of Florida Fair at 480 and Villa Verde who really didn't have a lot go right in the Golden Slipper at $5.50. Quick look at the uh, another of the features on the big day, the Doncaster Prelude leading towards next week's Doncaster. It's a very even race. Piero, of course, uh, dominates Doncaster betting. He's not in action in the prelude, so some of the others trying to get in the field and in the eyes of many running for the minor money in the Doncaster if they get through next week. Mahasara, the favourite at five. Havana Ray at seven. Elmer's Fury at eight. A little bit of support for beaten up, 11 into 10. Moriarty's been the best tried so far, 13 into $11. And Raspberries has been 13 into $12. So don't forget to get into your uh, local agency and pick up one of the Black Caviar ticket wallets. Uh, in the black and salmon colours. In between now and then, you can check out all of the markets at tab.com.au, wander into your local agency, or give us a call on 133390.